Good morning, everybody. So, uh, I woke up a little bit late this morning, and this is going to be episode 14, but it's going to be a part one, and I'll record part two later on this evening. Uh, but I wanted to have something up there for this morning to listen to while I go to work. <laughs> um, did some... I actually did quite a bit of uh, stuff yesterday, uh, one of which is we got... Uh, should say we have some new people on the server. I don't think I've actually announced it in an episode yet, but uh, Dangel from the IRC channel is on the server, and Flame Strider made an appearance last night. Uh, you may remember him from previous uh, Spotter's Guide episodes. But we did a little bit of. Ooh, nice. I guess Flame Strider stayed on or got up this morning. Handsaw. Cutting table. Okay. So uh, we worked on the forge last night. Uh, Flame Strider, myself, and uh, Bilbo. Uh, Bilbo, who pretty much started doing the excavation down here. We have our honeycombed rooms out. And we've actually started piecing some of them together, namely this one. This is going to be our, uh, our uh, coke room. So this is where we'll go around and we'll be making all the coke. And we're going to have a huge tank of creosote in the middle of the room here. It's going to be quite a bit of fun and no idea where we'll pump it to. Um, our current ideas are to either try pumping it out of the top or pumping it into the bottom of the tank and then back out the side or out of the, one of the other bottoms or something like that. So, lots of possibilities. That's just going on there. Uh, Bilbo has moved back into town. So these are his uh, apiaries. There, he has unwearies. I only got like one or two of those. It's nice. <laughs> Ew, pumpkins haven't grown. I'm good on food, I'm good on food. Uh, should I pick up some nether wart on the way to trip back? I've got space. So some of you may have seen what I plan on working on in my inventory there. If not, don't worry. We'll be getting there shortly. Ten levels. You know what? Let's put something on this axe real quick. There we go. Ten. Efficiency two on breaking two. I will take it. That is going to be a nice axe. Last a while, and chop down a little bit faster. I always pick up some eggs while I'm here. If I can take back like a stack or so. Hey, look at that. Or so. Almost two stacks of eggs. Two stacks of eggs. <laughs> um... It's just, it's handy to have them around. They're useful for uh, baking, but they also have some uh, attributes for Thalmcraft. And I do want to start out my, um, oh, I do want to get a little chicken farm going. Uh, chicken farm plus golem is probably one of the easiest farms you've ever seen. Uh, but thought I would do this real quick. This, uh, if you guys don't know who would build like this, <laughs> this is Sketchy's Place. The endless field of flax, so it only ever has to be harvested once. I think everybody on the server has harvested it once and just never bothered to grow anything since then. Uh, but he's got a nice little tower there, and you see the uh, the rainmaker on the top of it. Uh, he's also got choo choos. There's a uh, orange engine right there. It's nice. It's nice. Uh, the glass building up on top there is the. Um, What's it called? It's one of the altars from Thumbcraft where the wisps spawn and it's just contained. So the wisps can't go anywhere. Um, not sure who's building up here. That's new. That could be... Flame? Mm -mm -mm -mm. But I wanted to get a higher up view of Krikus' place. 
How did I miss that when I was in town? Seriously. How? <laughs> Anyways, uh, Krikus is building a set of towers. Uh, one on the right, and then there'll be another one on the left with a bridge between them. Uh, it's been hollowing out a good part of the hill to be able to accommodate it, too, so quite a bit of work's gone into there. Uh, sad to announce that Melody's playtime has been cut back due to school, so we're not sure if they'll see much more progress on the, uh, the sloping staircase over there. But uh, if you look, I have a lot of new waypoints. And if you can just barely make it out, it's south of Awesome. I found a place that is just beautiful. Uh, it's a combination of like a, a desert, some oasis, a, um, I want to say an extreme hills, but the really neat part is there's a woodland mountains, and the woodland mountains is almost entirely floating over water, so you can just sail all around the bottom and the the valleys and stuff that are made are made in between the uh, the hills and such. It's fairly narrow. It's not very big. But it just looks awesome. And uh, that waypoint is actually... I know I've gotten stuck in there before. That waypoint is actually where I want to put a nether portal and make a nether track. Because it's about 4,000 or so blocks away. It's quite a distance. Mm -mm -mm. Coming up to the... Uh, oops. Too, little too far to the south. I was going to say, coming up on the south edge of this place, it's a little bit different. And yeah. I should not have gone so far south in this place. By this place, I mean my hobbit hole. So I finished some of the sidewalk, which we'll get to see. Uh, I pretty much just sat down <laughs> in the giant pool of lava with the waterfall and uh, got enough pieces of obsidian to make all the obsidian tile to finish it off. So we have a nice little walkway started here. And... Disappeared. Uh, I'm not hearing. I didn't hear it open and close. That's a little uh, odd. I'm used to hearing it open and close. I mean, I changed it into a double chest, but it still opens. Huh. Anywho, uh, this is an apple tree. I don't know exactly how I got the sapling. I think it was just. Um, as I was working over here, I was working on growing this great oak here, and I had to chop it down a couple of times, and maybe, maybe I got some of the branches that were uh, that were starting to be changed, but that was a pleasant surprise. I've also got these bastards, which is freaking awesome. Here, let me, uh, let me get a little storage room here to work with. Put that in there. We went uh, clay and sand hunting last night for all those uh, coke ovens. But I have Charmed Bees. These give me occult, um, occult combs, or no, otherworldly combs. Yeah, otherworldly comb, which we will snag. And then we'll make some more of these real quick, just so I have them on hand next time. One, two, three. Although I probably could use some up here now. Oh, they're good. They're good. Cool. Mm -mm -mm. Not too high in the B count. So, a uh, little temporary setup as I have been trying to figure out how to make the metery, and it's becoming next to impossible to get it to sort and go through the machines properly. So, I'm honestly thinking I need to hook these two uh, these two apiaries up separately. Uh, so, we'll see how that goes. But I spun a ton of this stuff here and this is the proceeds of all of it this is uh, all the stuff that I got out of all those combs that I've been collecting and I'm actually going to give that a switch on give that a go here we are mm -mm -mm -mm. got my biomass here somewhere it's probably in the other one that's good enough for now so this is the biggest change, is there's now a wall here. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I've expanded my Thumbcraft room, and before I show it to you guys, I want to say I'm fairly proud of this. This uh, is not 100% done. I still want to etch that little uh, Newton symbol that I made. 
uh, into the wall somewhere with the little pieces and such like that. But this is my Thumbcraft room. And I have a whole set of spruce shelves, 48 of them to be exact, which... Mm, if you count here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, there's 48 different types of Essentia here. Uh, so this will allow me to put a glass jar with the uh, element on it all around the entire place. I thought that was going to look fairly cool. Uh, I've got my little research table here. It's currently working on the theory of everything, which I'm told sucks. I got about another 20 or so elements to wedge in and around here. Uh, but these are my cauldrons. They are all bubbling away. Mm -mm -mm. Ew! Not bubbling away. Uh, this is my infinite water supply, which uh, these are sapphire blocks and sapphire casing down there to give it a nice uh, blue look everywhere I go. That took me a bit to do. There we go. Bubble, bubble. Do it. There we go. <laughs> and I have my altar here in the center, uh, surrounded by a nice little wood flooring here. This is actually uh, the wooden tables just stuck into the ground here. So this is my my room, and this is what we're going to be working on for a little bit this morning. Uh, not specifically the room. I'm actually interested in the uh, the alembics is what I want, and that's why I was saying if you noticed this, you were going to be able to tell what we were doing. <laughs> uh, extra bucket of water. Bunk. Mm, Just for now. There we go. Um, I have there. They are the warded jars. So let's get out my little namanamanan. No, 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 I don't see it there. I don't see it there. I stored a lot of stuff uh, as yesterday. I actually uh, worked over this weekend, which is why I didn't have my video ready to go this morning. And when I came back from uh, a trip, uh, I had tons and tons of stuff on me just from you know wandering around for 10 minutes here, 10 minutes there. And I just so much stuff that I had to just sort it all out before I could start working on the uh, uh, the forge and stuff in the village. Do -do -do -do. Oh, go, go. What was I... Yeah, these things. Here they go. So I have a lot of silver wood and some gold ingots to make the filters. Uh, as you saw, I need 16 filters, so that's, that's quite a bit. <laughs> uh, brewing stands are what I'm going to need along with more gold and the filter to get my uh, arcane alembic. Mm -mm -mm. So the gold, I put half of it in the chest in there and the other half here, so that's where that came from. Do I have any stacks of anything that should be smelted? Nah, nothing too major. <coughs> uh, check the wood chest. I don't think I put any specialty woods in here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oak, spruce. I mean, I have my um, great wood and silver wood saplings in there, so that's kind of cool. Uh, but we will need uh, blaze rods. I'm going to need another four of these eventually. And uh, don't worry, I did not use uh, blaze rods to make this powder. I ran across a couple of deserts, so uh, let's take this. What else do we want to bring with us for research? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Squeezer and a fermenter. Why did I put them in here? No wonder I can't find them. They were supposed to be in, like, here. <laughs> uh, I also found a huge vein of appetite. I'll show you guys where I got that from in a moment. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The zombie meat. That's really good for, uh... Uh, really good for research, actually. And I got a Power 4 book and a Smite 1 book. So I've lifted the ban on the altars, uh, but only new altars. Uh, any altar that was already spawned is still pretty much off limits, uh, just because of the amount of steadfast bees or whatever, and maybe we'll just take them out and divvy them up or something like that. But I feel everybody's progressed to the point now, you know, it, we're fairly well established. Most of us, or not most of us, a few of us can make each one of the individual uh, items here. So finding them in a chest isn't going to be that big of a deal. It's like the hoe growth. 
Uh, I do believe somebody has already got the uh, the axe of stream and stuff like that. So uh, they, they they're just part of the game now. So the the band doesn't make any sense. Do do do. And it's raining, of course. The one thing that these bees are not is rain. All right. Um. What else did I discover over this weekend? Nope, not there. Yeah, I'm gonna need some biomass. Um, discovered that when mutating bees, they do not save the attributes that they had. Uh, cool. Didn't need to put any more in anyways. 14 wax out of a full stack, though. I mean, that, that's the kind of return you get. That doesn't even seem like 20%. Uh, I guess it is about 20%. Blah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got a full stack of honey drop, though. That's like 100% from those? I was unaware. Alright, so now we have more of our materials that we were looking for. Let me see. Let's get back down to our recipe. So, got the silverwood, got the gold. Uh, it's mostly the aspects that are going to be giving me a bit of a trouble here. Uh, I decided to make a full alembic before I went through and uh, just made a whole bunch of filters. So let me see. Brewing. Stand. I believe, yeah, cobblestone. And I have that in the chest down there. So let's get these made. Oops. This chest. There we go. Do these stack? Yes, they do. Okay, so 12 brewing sands. Nice. That really did a number on our stack of cobblestone. <laughs> okay, so we got another part of the recipe here. Brewing sand, got the bottles, got the gold, got the filter. Let's get it in there then. So brewing stand in the bottom left. Bottle up above it. Filter in the top. Gold around the edge. So aqua, aura, and veritas. Aura. I found a really good place to get aura from. Yeah, these guys. So how much of that do I need? Eight. No symbols? I thought they flew through the air. Oh, there they go. Ha ha ha. Alright, uh, I know I found a spot that I thought was really good to get aqua from. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. What was it? What was it? I could toss in a cake. <laughs> oh, we'll use sugarcane. Those were twos, right? Yep, so just four of these. Yeah. And now the crystally doodads. Yes. Appetite. Appetite to the rescue. Uh, this is a two again, so we just need four of these. And there we go. One arcane alembic. Got more than enough viz. So we are on our way. And that's going to go there. So, uh, I guess we just repeat this. So, it's, uh, we start with a piece of this, a piece of that, and a piece of that. Purus is a pain in the ass to get. Ex uh, Permentio, though, however, is this crap. <laughs> Uh, then it, 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 these are just one, right? Yep. There we go with that. Uh, for the purist, this is actually why I got this stuff. Mm -mm -mm. One, two, three, four. Unfortunately, these are also really good for magic and other things, but gotta do what you gotta do. So there's another one. One, two, three. Get another bottle, get another brewing stand, 
Let's uh, get some of these things into the chest there. Not the potato, there's zombie meat. Oh, the eggs, string. Gonna want to keep that, going to want to keep that. Those, this. What was I just using? Ah, the grass, that's what I needed. Silverwood, why don't you come down here and play nice with that silverwood? So we need the crystal, which was this, right? Yep. Oops. Seriously? Oh, I made the filter. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's uh, actually do this. And this is why having two buckets is annoying at times. But there we go. So let's uh, four of these. Er, yeah. No, that was wrong. Sigh. No! No! Ah! Oh. Didn't even give me a thing. Uh, that was grass. Did anybody else see that that was grass? <sighs> mm, grumble, grumble. Uh, where was I getting the water from? Oh, water, water, water. You were from something I was not expecting. Not the cake. Yes, the sugar cane. There we go. And that's a two. That's a two. One, two, three, four. Another alembic. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Clicking on that side this time. Whoa, look at it all. Look at all of that. Okay, so let's uh, utilize our resources here. Oh, uh, the appetite came from here. Uh, not the cave over there and a little bit of this floor that went through, but all of that and all of this was appetite. I believe it got me to level 30 from about level 5. <laughs> it was just a ton of it. Let's uh, use our little crafting table here, and I believe... Last file. I think this is how... Yeah, cool. That's empty. That's empty. And now I got Essentia Herba. Nice. We'll just store that over here for now. Let's take back our wax. Because that has so many nice uses. Put in that, that, and that. This is what I need to throw these in for. So, uh, four of these. And four of those. Yep, come back. In you go. Start bubbling. Spoosh, I command you. I command you! There we go. I think one missed. And two. Yep, I had to have missed. There we go. Got our new filter, which goes right back in. Uh, uh, uh. And what am I missing? The brewing stand. There we go. So now we do aqua. Actually, now we do aqua. <laughs> uh, we got more of the the green cool count of the other ones so chances are we're just going to get quite a bit of green here let's get the appetite going and then the grass going right yep 
And I still can't remember. Two, one, two, three, four. Neat. Yay. Sploosh. So nothing in that one, or is it just eerily clear? It's eerily clear. Uh, 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 got two more bottles, might as well get rid of those. Stack that up. Let's get another bucket of water here. Toss that in. And just going to make this last filter. Oops, need to actually open up the uh, crafting screen, don't I? So, crystal, crystal, crystal. This was the tree. And uh, change, or transmuto. We get our filter. So this is going to help us significantly in our endeavors in Thomcraft because now we'll be able to siphon off the extra viz. I mean, look at all that stuff. Look at all that stuff. And that's already in there. I want to say there is something in there. It's not gold on the bottom anymore. I guess I need to get those goggles that let you see all that stuff. <laughs> <sighs> okay, water is this, air is that, crystal is the appetite. So, now that's enough, but if I don't take that green stuff out, I'm going to be wasting it. So let's uh, go find a crafting bench real quick. Well, not find. I mean, I know where they are. Mm -mm -mm. They're not in here. <laughs> I guess the crafting bench that I took from the house is what I had on my adventure with me. Mm -mm. So let's make these again. Can siphon off at least three jars of the uh, Essentia. Or three bottles, not jars. I don't actually know how much the jars hold. One, two, three. Yeah, I didn't think that one would work. Let's see what we get, though. Sploosh. Hmm. Alright, let's place down our last Olympic here. And there we go. Uh, now we just need to do this another 12 times. Ooh but I do think this place is going to look pretty cool. I want to, uh, these are like kind of the brazers that I had in the previous map when we were playing Feed the Beast still. And I want to replace those torches with uh, night ores. I'll have the night ore floating like right there or something like that. So it just kind of looks a little bit cooler. Uh, I also need to replace these torches with something. I was thinking of actually embedding a light into the ground here and then just putting a little cover around the top so you can't fall in there. thought that would be pretty cool. But we're coming up on the end of uh, this two-parter simply because I'm going to need to get to work here. <laughs> uh, but I'll tell you what, what we're going to do. So I need 12 more of these things. Mm -mm -mm. And I don't think I can do all 12 at a time is I do believe that is fairly improbable, but I can do at least, uh, oops, I can do at least the uh, the recipe and just finish off the stacks here. Mm -mm, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did it not like? I put you in there. Oh, damn it. I have to remember that I can't jump on these things anymore. Let's see what I got from there. 
Crops and Harvest? See, I don't actually know the names of these things yet, so <laughs> this isn't really going to help. Uh, I wonder if that's uh, one of those. Oh, those are actually different. Well, now I got three of these. Nice. Um, how many more of these do I need? I mean, yeah, these do. Okay, this is starting to get annoying. I'll probably go back in the video and count and see that there was like way too much in there already. Uh, but yeah, gotta do what I gotta do. Ready to do. That time it works. I believe. I hear a uh, wisp out there. So anywho though, I'm going to sign off from here guys. And I'm just going to keep on working on uh, crafting these around. Um, probably later this evening, but I won't record that. Because you only need to see me screw up with these things so often. So um, I will talk to you later. And I'm not entirely sure what we'll cover. But I think it's going to be an upgrade to the B area this evening. So uh, have a good one until I talk to you then.